and let's go to the study. So what do we have here? Uh, table. Look at the table. A table with some curious objects. What have we got here? Okay, so there are some masks, two theatre masks, and a diving helmet, an ill diving helmet. Hmm, nothing that I can do here. There's a snow globe, a beautifully crafted snow globe. Let's have a closer look at this snow globe. So it's now in the inventory. A snow globe containing a ballet dancer. Okay, now there's a large window, a big window looking out onto the garden. A decorative window. A beautiful decorative window. Desk drawers. So then let's have a look in, 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 into it. These drawers are locked. Okay, I need a key then. It's a chair. The armchair of the late bird from Bickley. Looks comfortable. There's no time to sit around. So what's this frame? Butterflies. You know, what I really like about this adventure, not only has it lots of um, lots of locations and quite some nice uh, animations, but it also has these details. So um, pictures, uh, detailed pictures, framed butterflies. Six butterflies in a decorative frame. Okay, but still I can't really do anything with it. Is that a bookcase? This must be Bertram's collection of books. I could take a closer look, so then do it. There's a globe, a detailed globe of the world. But nothing I can do with it. Hey, a scrap of paper? What's that? A little piece of paper is stuck under the globe. Take it. What is this? So, what is this indeed? A scrap of paper. A scrap of paper with, a, with an 8 on it. You found this below the globe on the bookcase. Hmm. The Grey Woman by Elizabeth C. Gaskell. Marigold Garden by Cade Greenaway. The Jungle Book by Rudyard Kipling. Quite a collection of books here. The Dark House by George M. Fenn. The Prisoner of Sender by Anthony Hope. Around the World in 80 Days by Jules Verne. Persuasion by Jane Austen. Yeah. Well, I guess these are really images of the actual original books. So, quite interesting. The Chimes by Charles Dickens. Robin Hood by Joseph Ritson. As You Like It by William Shakespeare. A Comedy of Masks by Ernest C. Dawson. When they're masked on the other table. Looking backwards by Edward Bellamy. All's Well That Ends Well by William Shakespeare. The Sign of the Four by Arthur Conan Doyle. Don Quixote by Miguel de Cervantes Saavedra. A Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens. So, twice Charles Dickens already. So that's another one by Jules Verne, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. 
Three Ghost Stories by Charles Dickens, Madeleine Butterfly, uh, uh, Madame Butterfly by John L. Long. Hmm. And there were butterflies on the walls. That's odd. This book makes a mechanical noise and can't be detached from the bookcase. And there was also... So the mask thing. A comedy of masks. Let's pull that. North and South, Seven Poor Travelers, Jude the Obscure, The, uh, the Winter's Tale, Dance of Death, Legend of Sleepy Hollow, Republic, Empty Space, Men in the Iron Mask, Above the Snow Line, Treasure Island, The Tempest, and a Mermaid Statue. Well, this diving helmet and 20,000 leagues under the sea. Hmm, an open space on the bookshelf. And see what appears to be a small hole in the back panel. Can I use matches, for example, in that empty space? That item doesn't fit there. Anything else that moves? Dance of Death. The Seven Poor Travelers. House, Around the World in 80 Days, The Chimes, okay, well that's interesting, Sign of the Four, okay, so now which are the ones that need to be pulled? Let's go back. So we have butterflies here. There's a small ornament house. A little black house. So there is a dark house. There are butterflies. Hmm. So what was with the house? What a curious little house. I think the roof is a lit. Let's see if I can open it. Oh, there was a little key inside. Can I open the desk drawer? It does. It seems to unlock the top right drawer. Let's see what's inside. Oh, there's a decorative key. I just take this. Who knows? I might need it. And there's a note. All buried treasure is not the same is not the same. Sometimes you must look through a new frame. BB. Another poem signed BB. I'll take this with me. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. A vase, a large vase full of canes and walking sticks. Now then, let's have a look at the garden. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful flowers and trees. It's a lush garden. The sheer amount of color in this garden is amazing. It is indeed. anything don't tell me that I have to do pixel hunting that would be quite annoying ah to the statue swallows hate garden ornament this garden door I can go there it's locked What about the butterfly key? This key doesn't fit. Okay. Was worth a try. So then, what's with this garden ornament? A swallow's shaped garden decoration.
to the statue. Okay, bird shaped garden ornament. Another ornament in the shape of a little bird. There's nothing I can do with it. There are shears. A pair of old pruning shears are stuck into the flower bed. So then let's take them. Statue. This statue stands against a backdrop of sunflowers. Quite the picture. Dun, dun, dun. What's that? Or something different. Faded text. The text is withered, but I think it reads Sent Fireker. I vaguely recall something about the patron saint of gardens being called that, but I'm not sure. Anything else? Hmm. Okay. Then let's go to the rest of the garden. Can I use the shears with the garden? What reason do I have to def deface this section of the garden? Hmm. No real reason, I guess. Okay, back to the study. So... Okay, there are the masks, there's a diving helmet. Ha let's have another look at the bookcase. So, the, what about the mermaid statue? A mermaid statue lazily lounging on the bookshelf. So... Marigold garden, jungle book. So there's a dark there. There's a dark house. There are masks. There's a diving helmet. Butterflies. Hmm. Something obviously needs to go into that empty space. There's a G. Poem from the desk. All buried treasure is not the same. Sometimes you must look through a new frame. There's a snow globe. What about this rag? A fairly dirty rag. Hmm. Perhaps the butler can be of some assistance.